Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Blu-ray 3D review. And this time we're taking a look at another Marvel film, and it's Captain America the Winter Soldier. Yes, the sequel to Captain America the First Avenger. And, you know, I have been very impressed uh, with the way that Marvel has uh, really done the Captain America films. I loved the first Avenger. It was a timepiece film, um, you know, World War II. It just really embodied Captain America. Chris Evans did a great job. This film takes a completely different feel from the first one, whereas this is more of a kind of a political thriller almost, um, which is really, really nice. So we'll take a look at the packaging, uh, what comes with the disc set, talk about the film like we usually do, and uh, we'll also talk about the 3D in the film. Now, if you notice, it's Nick Fury on the cover. So I got this at Walmart. It was $26. Uh, they had multiple cover slips for the film. There was the Nick Fury, which this was the only one that they had. And, well, it looked pretty badass. And uh, they also had some of the Captain Americas. And they also had uh, ones with the Winter Soldier. I don't know if they did one with... Uh, Black Widow, I probably would have gotten the one with her if they did, and I doubt they did one with Falcon. I don't know. But I ended up going with, well, Nick Fury because, I mean, it's just real nice. It's all black. I love the, the cover. The jacket slip is really nice. Um, it really matches the tone of the film. Here's the back. It's got everybody walking in. And every um, version of this had that same picture. The Captain America one um, had the kind of silver lasery looking um, border, uh, whereas this one just flat black, and it just looked really cool. So very nice, very cool. It's kind of got that 3D embossed look to it, which is really nice. Um, here's the inside jacket, what it came with. Um, they all look that way. So he's like... I'm Captain America. Uh, let's see. Inside jacket. What's it come with? Um, you get the uh, advertisements to get the little uh, characters, which is uh, kind of interesting. Um, and it also has the, the digital mark on there, uh, which is kind of cool. And then some more ads on the little characters. The, the Winter Soldier one looks kind of creepy with his hair. I don't, I don't know about that. Kind of weird, kind of goofy. Um, and then you get some other Marvel advertisements, blah, blah, blah. And then the inside of the discs, uh, there is both discs. And unfortunately, they're just blue. That, that makes me sad when they do that. I like painted discs. If you guys watch my reviews, you know I like, I like a little paint on the disc, a little something, a little something extra, something. Uh, so yeah, Winter Soldier. Talk about the film. So, like I said, totally different, totally different uh, feel to this movie uh, compared to uh, the first Avenger. First Avenger, like I said, was a timepiece. This is more of a political thriller kind of thing. This kind of follows uh, the whole um, line of... Hydra had basically infected S.H.I.E.L.D. and was tearing them up from the inside out. So this whole corruption, uh, which kind of goes along with, you know, big government, uh, lots of corruption. People just don't trust government and agencies and that kind of stuff. And uh, the heroes basically have to find out who they can and cannot trust, which Nick Fury is like, you know, don't trust anybody kind of deal. Uh, which is definitely a great story plot. We get Robert Redford as the president, uh, which you do see in the back picture there. He does a great job as a bad guy. Uh, Bucky Barnes is the Winter Soldier, which is a great uh, tie to the original comic book this is based off. And I like that about Marvel. They've been using 
um, comic book storylines for a while now. Uh, Winter Soldier, uh, you got the Wolverine, and you also have um, Days of Future Past. Uh, which all these films have been loosely based on these classic Marvel comics, and I adore that. Uh, thank you guys for doing that. Um, it's just making the films that much better, in my opinion. So, basically, Cap has to figure out, you know, who he can and cannot trust, and all that kind of jazz. Um, Bucky Barnes comes back as the bad guy, and, I mean, he does a good job. I really didn't think the actor was going to be very good as the Winter Soldier, and well, he nails it. It's It's genius. Um, Black Widow. Oh, Scarlett Johansson is so, so hot in this movie. Um, it's like she's getting hotter every film that she makes. I, I just, oh, they need to make a Black Widow film. They really, really do. In fact, I got the Hot Toys, um, character, or the toy for this character from this movie coming next week. I'll be doing a review on that, and it just absolutely looks amazing. But... Uh, yeah, so her character really kind of steals the movie. She was my favorite character in the film. Lots of scenes stolen by the Black Widow in this film, uh, and rightfully so. Uh, Scarlett Johansson has got the character nailed to a T, and uh, just amazing. She's going to be great in the Avengers uh, 2, and hopefully we get a Black Widow film uh, from Marvel. I think, I think it'd be really great. Um, Nick Fury is really good in this film. We get a lot more Nick in this movie. Uh, and then we get a new character. We get Falcon. Of course, Captain America's partner for, I think, the 70s and 80s. Um, Captain America and Falcon. And Falcon, uh, he basically has got this kind of jetpack thing with his wings. And uh, he's, you know, a, another government agent and uh, um, ex-military kind of thing. And... So they bring him in here, and I'm going to tell you what. Screw Hawkeye and the Avengers. I hated uh, Jeremy Rainier's incarnation of that character. It was just horrible. I thought it was flat. It just, you could have cut him out of the Avengers, and it, it just, it would have been perfectly fine. Just didn't like him. Put Falcon in the next Avengers film. I wish they would just totally get rid of Hawkeye and replace him with Falcon, because Falcon is badass. I love his character in the movie. I like the actor. I like the way he portrays him. He's cool. He's fun. Um, he does a good job. I mean, it's just a superb character. Absolutely. Uh, so, you basically have to go through this whole uh, discover how far Hydra's in S.H.I.E.L.D. And they basically break down S.H.I.E.L.D. And it kind of crosses over into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the television show on uh, ABC, which is kind of cool. I do appreciate that. And uh, they're going to continue that into the next season, which will be very, very cool. But, um, yeah, overall, really, really good movie. I did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. Um, completely different, like I said, from the first Cap movie. And, um, and, you know, it was fun. It was exciting. It was uh, one of those big kind of government agency blacklist action films. Uh, and it very, very nice. I, I thought this was better than Thor 2. Absolutely. So 3D, how does the 3D look in this? And they do a good job in it. I don't know if it was as good as the first Captain America film. I did really enjoy the cinematography in the first Captain America film. They didn't quite pull, like in the, the first Avenger, there's a scene where the shield kind of bounces off the tank and comes back at you. And that made me jump in the theater. Um, and I, I haven't had that happen since a, a, a long time. And uh, I think Jurassic Park, The Lost World, when a raptor is coming after somebody. And last time, that, that really made me jump like that. Uh, but uh, the, the, it does look good. The 3D does look really nice, especially when uh, the opening scene where they're on the ship and Captain America jumps out and he kind of does his thing. That looks really, really damn cool. The scene where Nick Fury is uh, getting attacked by the bad guys and he's a black SUV. That whole scene is really, really fun. And uh, the scenes with uh, uh, Falcon where he's flying around in the suit look awesome. The end fight scene is just when well, you got multiple helicarriers and that looks really, really nice. So uh, they do... A pretty good job with the 3D in it. However, I just don't think it was as good um, cinematography wise as the first one was. There was just something missing out of it that the first film had this one didn't 3D wise. Story wise, it's 
phenomenal. Absolutely love it. So is this something you want in your collection? Yes, go out, buy this. Even if you don't like 3D movies, go buy the, the Blu-ray version of it. It's a great film, uh, but the 3D is pretty good and you can get the 3D film for uh, about $26 at the time of this recording. Uh, so, and it's got multiple jackets that you can get with it. So you can get your favorite character, uh, which is always kind of a little plus. I mean, it's just a little cardboard sleeve, but that's a cool additive. So definitely a thumbs up. I do like the film. The 3D in it was fun, uh, but really it's all about um, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow character and the introduction of Falcon in this. Uh, definitely good stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. And as always, look for more videos in the future.